Hello and welcome, Sidi here, and as promised, I'm going to deliver you the Undown gameplay straight from the closed global beta. And I'm shocked. And I'm shocked in a very positive way because this game has way more in it than I expected. The world is beautiful, all that detail, that character detail, the quest, the storyline, everything that you know summarizing it it's very impressive i honestly need to say that this is not what i expected i thought it's going to be some kind of survival game where i just go in shoot some zombies and then have some fun but this is like intense and let me share you the first impressions i'm obviously not deep into the game but based on what i saw i'm like oh my god this is going to be a big thing Starting off with the character selection screen, you have so much to adjust, so much customization options. I saw many of these already, but this is like next level, guys. This is kind of the stage where you can spend three hours without actually entering the game, so it can be overwhelming. I kind of simplified it. I just selected the red hair, yellow eyes, and I just wanted to enter into the game. And that is the next highlight, by the way. We have a lot of cinematic transitions and cinematic things uh, from the very beginning and it's very seamless so from this cinematic scene it goes into actual gameplay and then you can control your character and i really like how they built up the tutorial part because it's not that hey run here and run there and press this no the tutorial is like built into the storyline so while you are doing the first couple of things the story evolves and you understand where you are, who you are and why you are here. And at the same time, step by step, it's always giving you a bit more so you can understand like the different features of the game. I would love to add all that cinematic stuff and all that gameplay from the very beginning, but it would make the video endlessly long. So I'm going to wrap it up of what happens at the very beginning. So basically you wake up at the beach and you fight yourself through the jungle or you know forest or whatever uh to that station here what you see on screen at this stage the game is kind of teaching you that you can pick up equipment you can pick up weapons and that's the point where you uh, meet the first zombies you can try how it feels to shoot them and you need to repair a motorcycle which is actually going to become your vehicle and with your motorcycle you need to drive to the shelter that is how they introduce the vehicles and how to drive them so i think it's super cool it's so smooth that you know the tutorial is actually part of the game i really love that it wasn't boring i actually enjoyed doing it and the same goes for the storyline because in many games i usually skip all the dialogues but this time it was interesting enough to like watch it and 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 read it and there are there are voiceovers i mean actual voices i didn't expect that guy so each character has its own voice at least the main characters of course and they are talking to you and this is just amazing this is all i can say this is way beyond what i have expected you get to the shelter the story evolves you meet the first people you're gonna actually uh, meet during the game i i assume that these are the same that are going to be around even if you are you know more deep into the game and this is where i felt like i'm already impressed and there is even more so that doctor like assisted me to the house where i'm going to stay overnight and i got that device and it's scanning my body my mental health and hygiene levels so it's crazy after going upstairs i actually had to take a bath i had to go to the toilet i had to take a sleep and then i had to go downstairs into the living room and wash my clothes Okay, let's stop here for a moment and let's talk about controls and settings and all that stuff. So I think controlling the game is pretty cool. I think it's like PUBG-like, Free Fire-like of controls. So if you are used to any of those games, this is not going to be challenging at all. You have a similar amount of uh, buttons. And for other settings like video settings and all that stuff, it's pretty much the same as we are already used to from other games. There is a lot of detail, but nothing was like super surprising. Uh, you have gyroscope, you have automatic fire, you have ADS, you have all that stuff within the game. Again, 
not what I expected. And I know it's not like part of the options, but I wanted to show you emotes. You have an endlessly long list of emotes you can use. You can cry, you can become angry, you can wink, you can you can sit down, you can do a bunch of stuff. And it makes it really cool because you, it helps with the interactions. So if you meet other players, you can use this to like express emotions. It's, I think it's really fun. So after getting familiar with the basic things in the game, uh, there is a bit of a history regarding the shelter. So you understand who the ravens are, how they came here, uh, why they are here, what's their mission. Uh, this was the only part where I felt like, okay, okay, I, I want to do some shooting, so let's move on. And I waited for the first task, and I didn't have to wait too long. So basically, the next part is about uh, getting some equipment, getting weapons, and there's someone showing you where to buy ammunition within the shelter, where you can buy food, because yes, you need to eat something. Obviously, if you need to go to the toilet and have a bath, and obviously you need to eat as well. And then shortly after that, I had the chance to go into the first mission. So the first mission is about visiting an outpost because we have the shelter. It can be considered as like the main city. Um, and then we have multiple of these outposts and I need to visit one of them with Sherry to kind of check out what's happening because they are being overwhelmed by zombies uh, and I'm going to bring the firearms and Sherry is like bringing medical equipment. So after arriving here, this is like the first point in the game where you actually need to do a bit of a, a gunfight against the zombies and you even get a grenade first. I didn't know what to do with it, but basically um, this is the point where it starts becoming real and you can kind of test out how to shoot them. And at the beginning, it's like very basic. You only have a shotgun. I'm sure you're going to have different type of weapons going forward and I'm sure you're going to need to gather a different type of equipment uh, to protect yourself from from zombies that are stronger but at the beginning i think it was super cool to like you know have this mini invasion and to fight them i really enjoyed it after successfully preventing the zombies from eating everybody on the outpost the storyline continues and you need to jump on your motorcycle and head towards a location where somebody is being uh, held or somebody got trapped and you gotta drive over to that location and find out what's happening. Obviously, after arriving to that location, you need to face even more zombies and you meet that guy, Daniel, who got wounded and he feels he will not survive. So he's grabbing one of your grenades or he's actually asking for one. And then he wants to blow up all the zombies who are around. This is the part of the story where the game tries to explain you that you, the new character, the new Raven guy or girl, is uh is an important member of this raven rescue squad so basically you cannot rescue daniel but uh you are the one who attempted to rescue him and thereby um your basically your reputation grows after that you head back into the shelter you can drive with the motorcycle right into the shelter which is kind of fun and that is the point where you start meeting other players so in the lobby let's call it lobby in the shelter there are multiple players running here and you can see them you, they are doing different kind of things you can interact with them you can talk with them and after getting back to the shelter, I wanted to have a look around. I wanted to explore the details of the shelter. I wanted to check the different features. And there is a lot more I didn't mention yet. Uh, it seems like that there is a storyline you can follow. And there's also an explore type of thing where you can do different type of achievements. You have also different type of skills. You have a wardrobe so you can get uh, clothes. You have uh, a gallery and I'm sure there is a lot more even beyond everything I just said because I spent like one and a half hours in the game. So that's like the very beginning and I gotta say it, this game is mind blowing. So to summarize the overall experience, I gotta say that it's like 10 out of 10 or 11 out of 10. Maybe I'm saying that because it hit me as a surprise. I didn't expect this. And I know I said this multiple times in the video, but I really mean that. And I didn't even try the multiplayer mode yet. So when I 
play together with other players and we do some missions together we, we do voice chat and stuff like that so this is one of the games i'm surely gonna play in the upcoming months because i'm curious and i want to understand how much effort i need to put into it to have like a valuable account you know an account you can be proud of as i said i just found the game a couple of days ago and pff, i'm still shocked how on earth didn't i know about this game before Let's make this the closing thought. I'm interested to hear whether you already knew about this game or was this the very first time you saw gameplay? And also let me know if you are interested in this game. Are you hyped about the game? Are you waiting for this to be released? Um, all of the details are welcome. And uh, as you know, I'm reading all of the comments. I'm replying to as much as I can. And I really hope I could give you some insight into the game. By sharing my first impression because you know ultimately that was the goal of this video and with that i'm wishing you a nice day happy gaming and see you in the next one bye